Okay, um, in this video, I will try to show you six examples of uh, graphs of six examples of functions of two variables. Um, I'm going to run through these examples a little bit fast because you're familiar with these surfaces and that's why I chose these examples. Let's look at example one f of xy equals 9 minus y. So if you write the equation z equals 9 minus y, or x, y plus z equals 9, that's a linear equation, and you know there's a plane. Which particular plane is it? Because x is missing, it's like it has the uh, idea of a cylinder. Uh, you like you make the line y plus z equals 9 in the y z plane, it goes through uh, y equals 9 and z equals 0, and goes through y equals 0, z, z equals 9, and then you extend that parameter to the x-axis and that's the plane. Of course it goes below the floor and into that other quadrant, uh, octant as well behind the wall but I have only shown you the part in the positive octant. Similarly, f of x, y equals 9 minus x minus y. Uh, if you rewrite it as x plus y plus z equals 9, which is again a plane, this time it's, it's portion in the first octant, positive octant, it goes through the point 900090009 and then it extends into this wall, this wall and into the floor. Okay? The example f of x y x square plus y square, already we already discussed that in the last video, is the circular paraboloid. These are profile of the parabola, uh, with, you know, the cross sections of circles. Uh, on the other hand, if it was f of x y plus square root of x plus y square, it's a circular cone extending upwards forever, just like this one goes up forever. Um, let's look at two more examples. f of x, y equals 64 minus x squared minus y squared square root. We did the domain and range of this. So if you write z equal to this. Now I've noticed here that I've written implies this. The reverse implication is not true. Because this implies this. But this going back, z could have been plus minus of this. So, 64 equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared is a sphere, sphere of radius 8. But since z is only positive, look back at the range video, we know it's only the top part of the sphere, the hemisphere, the upper hemisphere of radius 8. Okay? Radius 8. Uh, this goes to 8 here, 8 here. Okay? And similarly, f, uh, f of x, y equals 25 minus y square, I don't know if you can read that in the video, uh, 25 minus y square, so z equals square root of 25 minus y square, so if you rewrite it, it's x y square plus z square is 25, but again, z has to be positive, so you get y square plus z square is 25, which is cylinder of radius 5 in the y z plane, you draw a circle, only the top half of the circle, radius 5, and then extend it parallel to the x-axis, so you get a cylinder of radius 5. Now let's see, um, I want to show you the 3D models of these kind of things, just so you can start visualizing them. Um, uh, let's see if, uh, how much time is left in the video, so that, um, let's check how much time is left in the video. Three minutes have been done. Okay, so we have time to put in this video. You can focus more down here if you want. So if not all the board has to show necessarily. Okay? Alright, so let's have this be our x-axis coming at you, y-axis, and the z-axis of course is going this way. Right? So the plane that we drew earlier there, in the, it has to be in the yz plane, it makes this line. So that plane is something like this, right, on the z-axis, y-axis, and it's parallel to x-axis, uh, right. On the other hand, this plane, I won't be able to draw perfectly, but it's like, goes through here, this point, this point, and this point, so it's kind of like, something like this, that's the point right here on the z, right. So it's like this. Um, f of x, y equals x squared plus y squared, circular parabola. Um, that would be something like this. So this, the, the side profile is a parabola. Ignore the, the, the base, ignore this part. And it's, it's, it, it converges to a point here and it's at the origin. So it's extending to the other octants as well. 
and just and from there goes up, right? That's your circular paraboloid. Uh, circular cone would be this object, this straight line profile. It's not a parabolic profile, okay? I mean, centered at the origin and extending upwards forever. Um, the, this hemisphere, right? Is, think of it as this is the top half of a sphere of radius 8 and centered at the origin like this. Uh, I mean, centered meaning the top is above the origin and this is radius 8 circle and this is the top half of that sphere. Um, the, the cylinder in the zy axis, right? So it's, now this, this is the full cylinder. This is not the graph of the surface. So you can see wireless vertical like this. If I were to put this here and say, is this graph of it? Sorry, it's graph of surface, but this surface is not the graph of a function. Because if I take this as an input point, it has two outputs, this one and this one. So which one is the output, right? So it's not a function. But if I were to cut this in half, right? If I were to cut this in half, you can imagine I cut that half and I mount it here forever, going backwards and forwards forever. That's your, this um, cylinder, okay? Now, in the next video, we will look at how we can visualize these using a tool called contour curves.